What is up humanoids? This is going to be a little different one. I'm working from home and this is sunlight. I don't have my lighting in here so I apologize if the lights are crazy but we're here to look at this Adobe Adobe Phantom Dunk Low. There is your box right there, your general release box and all your box details. Um, so there you go, purple box. Here is the shoe. We get no um, Let's see, God, this, this camera works really well too. Dudes, I could probably roll this with just one camera today, but I just like having the second angle right there. Look at, there's your toe down. You see there's a canvas material on the top quarter panel right there. The top of your toe box, no perforations for breathability because the whole thing is canvas, but that's kind of different that there's no perforations on that thing. So kind of cool. You got a really nice suede toe cap, turn and stitch toe. So you do have the Ollie protection. A lot of you guys have been complaining that a lot of the quick strikes don't have the turn and stitch toe cap or the Ollie flaps for protection. Um, yeah, a lot of them haven't lately, but look at that guy. This camera and this camera both look really good in this light. You got your full gum sole here, no color breaks, so gum top to bottom. And then you got your Phylon midsole right there for extra support, extra cushioning, extra shock absorption. Sometimes that's hard to say. There's your second lace color, kind of an off-white matching the inside of the shoe. Another flat lace. No oval laces with this shoe, so flat laces all around. I think that's kind of cool. Change it up every now and then. Get some different laces. What do you guys think? Do you like flat or oval? I know, you like the oval. That's all. Box price on the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Adobe Adobe Phantom is $110. Uh, we're going to be releasing these at the shop pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure what the release de details are going to be. Very soon, pay attention to Blue Tile SC for more information on these guys. Sorry about the crazy video. The next couple videos are going to be right here in my room. So, um, yeah, did I even need two cameras for this, guys? I don't know. But this is part of a bigger pack. I believe we order these things so far in advance, I can't really remember. But um, I believe there is a story that ties all this together with like building jump ramps and DIY spots and fixing stuff with Bondo, etc., etc. This is actually modeled after the color of Bondo when you're patching up a skate spot. <clears throat> like if there's a crack in front of a set of stairs right before you, right where you would ollie, you'd patch it up with Bondo. This is the color you would get when it's mixed properly. I think it's a little lighter than this, honestly, but I think uh, it would be too pink if it looked exactly like Bondo. But this that's what it's inspired by. You can see the insole here with all the different DIY type spots. You got your Nike SB Zoom Air insole. What is, what is this telling you? Not, not to smell it? Is that a nose? What is this? This is a Nike. It's got a cross through it. Maybe you don't put Bondo on handrails. Maybe you do. Uh, you definitely don't put it on your shoes, but maybe you got some shoe goos. Maybe there's some shoe goo stuff coming out, but here's a good example of maybe Bondoing the bottom of a jersey barrier. And then you would have your, uh, your spot, your skatable spot. That's your insole. There is your Zoom Air airbag. And there is your pour on forefoot for more shock absorption. This shoe has all your skatable bells and whistles. So if you missed out on some of the, like the Huff, the Lobster, the eBay, all those things, which have pretty much been what's coming out lately, there are no bells and whistles to make the shoe more skatable except for the Zoom Air heel, heel pad. This one does have your, your Ollie protection right here so you can put those laces behind there and protect these flat laces those are flat laces not oval laces so a little bit different um, you do have your turn and stitch like i was saying and if you can see in there you got your memory foam heel pods and that little red dot is the adobe colored phylon midsole poking through so one other thing i don't mention very often is these little elastic uh, tongue stabilization straps 
Those help the shoes stay on your foot, even if you pop your laces, but it also helps your, your tongue from twisting over to the side, which is amazing. I, I now hate if a shoe doesn't have that little elastic strap on the tongue. I hate it. I can't wear them because the tongue always ends up on the side of your foot. So something here that you look at this. I just want to show this in this camera. Look at there. Little um, extra embroidery around the lace holes at the top. That's kind of different. I don't know why they did that, but it looks kind of cool. These materials look really good. Super, super skatable materials on this one. Except for maybe right here. I know like tray flips sometimes you kind of rub across the top of your toe. So maybe that's not super ideal, but this shoe looks awesome to skate in. This is your Adobe Dunk Low Pro. Yeah, Dunk Low Pro. Like I said, guys, no on foot this time. They're probably true to size, but I always do this on my community tab. We'll do a poll to see what everybody says about how these fit. I think it's going to be true to size. Probably going to be true to size. I'm going to wrap this video up right now and just make this one really, really quick. This shoe is 110. Stay tuned to Blue Tile SC on Instagram for release details. They'll be releasing soon. Um, I hope this video wasn't too weird. I wanted to get this done and I've been at home for the last three days. So there you go. Boom. There you go, guys. That is it. That one's been pretty sought after. A pretty good dunk to close the year on, I think. Um, we also got those green dunk highs, so that'll be coming tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for release details on that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for putting up with the madness and the home studio. This is where I work when I'm at home. But I haven't been able to. I had to reorganize this whole thing this week. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. All the best. Love blue tile. Goodbye.